Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, the uh, 20th of March, 2021. It is precisely 10 past 11 this morning on this uh, beautiful Saturday where I am. So let's have a quick look at the charts and see what is going on and what is going down. Here we go. Oh, looks like a uh, number's gone up a little bit on the uh, on the price. A, uh, a two dollar discrepancy between Preev and uh, and Coin Dance there. We'll have a look at. Uh, so Coin Dance says uh, two eighteen. Preev says two twenty. Let's have a quick look at uh, Coin Crap. See what they say is. Maybe we can get a uh, a mean in between. Oh, two sixteen. <laughs> wow. Right, that throws a spanner in the works. So it looks like uh, um, Coin Dance is actually in the middle there. So maybe uh, maybe we'll go with them. Right then. Uh, so we have got Bitcoin with 0.3% uh, of the hash rates. We've got a B crash with uh, 0.9, and we've got uh, Core Coin with 98.6. Uh, network nodes on Bitcoin 0.9. Network nodes on B crash 3.7. Network nodes on uh, CoolCoin, 95.4. Transactions on Bitcoin, 32.9%. Bcrash, I saw 34 just then. Oh, there we go, 34.5. Uh, transactions on CoolCoin, 32.6%. Uh, block size, again, Bitcoin winning, 47.9%. 17% on Bcrash and 35.1% on, uh, on CoolCoin. Alrighty, let's just play uh, spot the biggest block on B Crash. But before we do that, we'll just simply do uh, my favourite B Crash video of Roger explaining why I call it B Crash. Take the floor, Roger Ver. Here we go. And we're going to really spread Bitcoin Crash across the entire country here in Antigua. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that, Roger. All uh, right, so we've got uh, a 2.5, that's quite a oh, 2.7, almost a 2.8 for uh, B Crash. That's actually quite big for them. Congratulations. Uh, all right then. And uh, Michael Saylor, with your uh, with your big, oh, uh, big blocks. Huobi has mined a 2.2, oh, it's a 2.3 megabyte block on, uh, on CoreCoin. The small block shitcoin, uh, as uh, we'd better call it. And we'll call it the uh, small block shitty coin because it does absolutely nothing. And uh, what we'll do is we'll let uh, Chamath uh, Paliapitia explain the situation that CoreCoin is in. Here we go. This is a thing that either goes to roughly the value of gold. And at the time, it was about $100 a coin. And so there's very little downside. There's all this asymmetric upside. I said, take 1% of your net worth and buy this schmuck insurance. This is now a confidence game, right? There is no real utility in this. You just called it a confidence game, which is yeah, right. a con and game. And we've done okay. The, it's a con the economy's game. built. <laughs> Here we go. Corecoin is a confidence game, of which I do not have very much confidence at all. Uh, right, let's play uh, spot the biggest block on uh, on Bitcoin. I can see all oh, Tau straight out of the gate with an 8.1. Great stuff. Oh, I can see. Uh, Z Australia in the house, just uh, reconnecting my uh, my uh, Twitch TV there. Be with you in two seconds. Here we go. Uh, oh no, it looks like there might be a, a network connection. Everything's all right in mind though, for whatever reason. Uh, right, I might mean, be my tablet, never mind. Uh, so we've got uh, a yeah, Tau there. Oh, we're, actually, we'll see who's mining what. Tau, 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 Hathor. Tau, Hathor, Hathor, Tau. Hathor, 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 Hathor. And look at these small blocks Hathor is scooping up. Like, uh, that, that's, that's pretty amazing, really. Um, F2 pool. F2 pool on there. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know whether it's an honor, whether they're friend or foe to actually have them mining on the, uh, on the Bitcoin chain. But uh, they are certainly like, one of the largest miners in the world. But um, uh, no definite shitcoin miners. Oh, there's one block mined by via BTC, a pathetic one with just uh, 155 kilobytes in it. Hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll see on that one. Uh, Bitcoin hash rate by network. Again, we've just got uh, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity and initiative. 
when uh, when people are creative and they have initiative they can find something useful they can make use of something when they make something useful it can then create value when it creates value it can then develop a price when it develops a price it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange that's how it works so uh time will just uh well they say time waits for no man it keeps on plodding on that's all we gotta do um bitcoin proof of work by network cool coin b crash again they'll just simply stop overnight one time uh, B crash hat. Well, this is a B crash versus Bitcoin hash rate. B crash versus Bitcoin. Uh, uh, proof of work. Uh, it is seventy-four thousand times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than it is the largest shitcoin of the lot, which is also uh, ten times cheaper than B crash because B crash is also a shitcoin. Uh, it is a point. Oh, it is a one point four percent more profitable to mine or oh, mine on B crash this morning than it is. Uh, uh, cool coin, but uh, and oh, it's 0.6% more profitable to mine on SV, which is Bitcoin rather than cool coin. Uh, daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Oh, yep, Bitcoin winning. Uh, transactions by network. Oh, never mind. Close one, close call. Transactions per block. Ugh, never mind. Fees USD, Bitcoin smashing it. Fees Satoshi's, Bitcoin smashing it. Block world ratio, again, time, price, value, utility, creativity, initiative. Uh, blockchain growth by network, mocking a B crash there. Um, here we go. This is where the politics is. This is where the fun starts. So it's a uh, Bitcoin hash rate by mining pool. Yeah, uh, uh, global hash rate, seven days. F2 pool up there, and uh, b- b- being pushed down into second place by pooling, and then uh, Binance down in third. Interesting. Um, 24 hours. Oh, the the big dogs are at it again. F2 pool pool in BTC.com. The usual order. Then uh, Ant pool and remember BTC.com and Ant pool are both um, Bitmain. Uh, followed by Binance and Fire BTC and Huobi. So I mean, again, I mean, it's just amazing how large these shitcoin enterprises are. Uh, Tau with 0.14% of the overall uh, hash rate. All uh, right, this is CoreCoin. Uh, so Binance just pushing, pushing BTC.com down into fourth. Then we've got Ant Pool and then uh, Huobi and via BTC. But the Tal Tell is what we're looking for. Yep, Tal is still not on there. Nowhere to be seen. Seriously, CoinDance is going to do this to me now. Oh, we, were doing, we were doing so well. There we go, the Tal Tell. And we're looking at B Crash here. So uh, Hathor just. Keeping the uh, keeping the profitability at bay. Seriously, come on. <sighs> All right. Um, okay. Yeah. Seen that. Right. This is Bitcoin. So um, Hathor squeezing everybody, but I mean Tal still thriving. Uh, Forty-two point three percent mining the big blocks. Um, Hathor with the small blocks, they've got fifty point six nine percent. Oh, oh, uh, good to see a mempool, a oh, null pool on there. Uh, via BTC again, I think they potentially might be faux because they're a shit coiner uh, supporting B crash. Uh, but um, F2 pool and pooling both on there, gesturing this morning, which is uh, quite rare to see. But again, as we know, the entire point of uh, Hathor and Tal are doing what they're doing is to. Uh, Tag team one another to keep the shit coiners off the chain in order to take care of the short positions that are artificially suppressing the price. So let's have a look at this. Let's see what is going on. So I've seen this as low as 80. I'm looking for a 79. I don't think we'll get that this morning because the uh, longs have dropped off a little bit with the uh, price increase. But again, just massive... uh, just total price manipulation. Total price manipulation. There we go. 83, 82, 84, 80. Uh, there was the 80. That was the 80 right there. 80%. And we're 81. And oh, there was another 80 there. Okay, 80, 81, 82, 83. Ugh. And uh, 84. Look, because of the price spike. Unbelievable. I mean, it moves up like 4%. Just because a slight movement in the price. You know, it's total manipulation. Total manipulation. But definitely one to keep an eye on.
definitely want to keep an eye on. Uh, let's have a look at Bitcoin Blocks Live. See the chain working in front of our very eyes. We can see we've had a, um, a 58 megabyte block mined within the last 15 hours. For anybody new to this, uh, the uh, vertical rectangular blocks moving across the top are the transactions being recognized by the nodes on the network. Uh, when they're recognized by the nodes on the network, they're then thrown into the meme pool. Uh, which is where they are competed for by the miners and payment processes in order to uh, create a block, store the block on the blockchain, and win the Coinbase data, which is known as the block reward, otherwise known as freshly minted Bitcoin. So uh, see if anything's happening on the chart. Any movers and shakers? Uh, no, not yet. Still D drive with 92.1% uh, of the overall transactions since the 16th of uh, January this year. I mean, look at that, absolutely massive. But again, D drive, stealth drive, no one knows what it is. Maybe something to do with James Bond. Maybe James Bond might tell us one day, who knows? You know, something to do with MI6 possibly. You know, I'm sure we'll, uh, everything will come to light sooner or later. But uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, might be having um, uh, uh, Lorian Gamaroff from uh, Sentby on my uh, Bitcoin biscuits and coffee show on Monday. Stay tuned for that. Sentby with uh, 1,618 transactions so far in the last 30 days. Uh, so obviously below Pew Pew, that's to do with uh, hand cash. But uh, in terms of wallets, they are certainly one of the most most used wallets. Huge in South Africa. So hopefully uh, we'll learn some more about that. Uh, bit info charts again for any newbies who are watching this for the first. Did I see an advert for Visa then? What? What? <clears throat> uh, again, just rather. Excuse me. <clears throat> different metrics that you can uh, view here, you know, for your own satisfaction. You've got Bitcoin with 8.4% of the overall transactions over the entire uh, digital asset space. <clears throat> and mind you, we need to separate Bitcoin from. Uh, from cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies are absolute pieces of digital shit. Uh, bit info charts again, uh, good metrics. All these uh, shit coins listed across the top. The only one we're interested in is Bitcoin. <laughs> and if we go on to uh, transactions, three years and then a log, you'll see the purple one. This is Bitcoin when it got its original uh, protocol back. So it's the genuine Bitcoin. I mean, that, that's why you can see the huge acceleration in it. But just started under a new ticker symbol after BTC was stolen, hijacked and engineered by a group of nefarious individuals who were paid to do so by companies who don't want Bitcoin to succeed. Uh, I'm sure I saw an advert for a Visa just before I switched over there. Pfft, Visa advertising on BitInfo charts. Are you kidding me? If that isn't a conspiracy, I don't know what is. Let's have a look at Scaling Test Network. Uh, no movers and shakers on here just yet. Yeah, biggest block lasts 24 hours, 55 megabytes on the mainnet. Uh, recording an average of uh, eight transactions a second, but the Scaling Test Network doing 410 transactions per second uh, in the last 24 hours. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal system. Uh, again, the biggest block on the scaling test network. Again, that was actually a, a 3.1 gigabyte block, but uh, registered here is 2.9 for whatever reason. Uh, all right. Trends.cash. Whoa, look at TDXP app. Again, dirty traders can be unsullied on TDXP. Look at that app's ranking by money spent. Degenerate gamblers. However, if you're going to gamble, I'd rather you gamble on TDXP. Don't be, uh, so at least you're not devaluing the asset by pumping and dumping it, if that's what you have to do. I mean, I understand gambling is an addiction, so, you know, fair enough. I, I, mean, I can explain, actually. Gambling is sort of like hyper-stimulates the, uh, the hippocampus, which calms the amygdala. So it gives you that laser focus, kind of like gives you the high, but then when the go is over... Um, the hippocampus then shuts down, cortisol floods the brain, and then that triggers the amygdala and makes you feel like shit. And the only way to get rid of it is by having another go. And there we have gambling addiction explained. Look at that, all these experts in the world trying to explain all these addictions. And I've just explained gambling addiction in, what, 30 seconds? <laughs> uh, apps ranking by performed action. Retrosphere, the boys over at Metastream. B Drive, again, don't know what that is. 
sort of hidden stuff and uh, but a tonic pow in one two three four fifth position there very good very good obviously working well uh, crypto quant again yeah I mean just looking at this uh, we all know this is a huge speculative bubble um, because this shows you the uh, the liquidity providers uh, within the space have been cashing out all of this year down and down and down and down we go which has caused the spike in the price which means it's a massive speculative bubble there is no value in that space whatsoever no none let's have a look at what's on chain let's see what's going on look at these transactions are speeding up there the last block was mined by tal and was uh, had uh, 802 kilobytes of data in it um yeah, I mean this is this is the uh, this is the blockchain working live in front of our very eyes. Very good. Oh, more transactions piling in there. Unconfirmed transactions in the meme pool. So let's have a look at uh, Joe Ho's meme pool. This is the meme pool weight in megabytes. Data in the meme pool. Seriously. Count fee weight. Let's have a look at the count then. Unconfirmed transaction count, fee, wait, have they changed this? Wait is what my data in it being cleared. So you can see the data cleared, cleared, oh, more data piling up, waiting to be cleared. But again, all it is is just in the meme pool. It just means that it's not on the blockchain. It doesn't have to be on the blockchain. The data is still valid. It cannot be cracked, tacked, altered, changed, or deleted. It is in the meme pool. You cannot take it out. That's the uh, that's the whole point. Uh, let's have a look at coin crap. <clears throat> oh, cool coin in the green over 24 hours, just a little bit. Not used to seeing that over the last few months though, but never mind. Oh, down on the week. Down on the week, is this telling? Is this because uh, Tether are no longer printing loads of shit? Mind you, we know that uh, um, US dollar circle coin have just printed over $10 billion in market cap. What a joke that is. Tether 2.0, really. Let's go back to the coins end. So USD, or is it USD circle coin, look at that. A market cap, 8.6. 8.6 billion from where? Out of nowhere. Uh, Tether, what a joke. $36 billion from literally nowhere. Pumped into CoreCoin to raise the price so they could sell out and cash out into uh, genuine US dollars. Into dirty dollars. You know, biggest, biggest and easiest scam I have ever seen in my life. Unbelievable. Uh, here we have Bitcoin. Oh, it's still sort of uh, green in the last 24 hours. Green on the week. I would have liked to have bought in down there. Would have been nice. You know, but I mean, still can't really complain too or too much. I mean, what are we here? Um, two uh, two sixteen. When was uh, when was when was Bitcoin? Uh, two hundred and sixteen dollars. Uh, we'll have to go to all to actually have a look at this. Wow, here we go. Look, so two hundred and sixteen dollars. Would that be November or October? Uh, oh, so it's probably end of October. Yep, end of October 2013. Wow. Wow. Yeah, just amazing that we can pick up the genuine Bitcoin for uh, for that price right now. All right, let's have a look at some stats on um, Twitch. Where is it? Acorn stack. That's what we want. Uh, new users, 24 hours. Oh, 68. That's all right. Still new users piling in. Again, it's the network effect of the new users that uh, is quite exciting. We'll see an explosion and acceleration uh, very soon. Especially when celebrities realize they can make money just from being a celebrity. <laughs> Great idea. And uh, let's have a look at our man Zatoshi. How many followers has he got this morning? Let's bring this up. 74? 74? That was, that was bang on 75 just the other day. Outrageous. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Let's have a look at Ruth Eastman. Her tweet: Are we, uh, are we, are we nine five two or something? Oh, nine five five. We'll like that again every day, just for lulls. 
<laughs> right, and let's have a look at Whale Alert to see if uh, any tether has been printed in the last 24 hours. Keep your eyes peeled, people. Oh, look, the US dollar circle coin, you know. Got to keep that, uh, got to keep that core coin pump going somehow. That utter scam. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, so it's fifty-two million dollars. Uh, fourteen hours ago. Uh, another fifty-four million dollars. Just nine hours ago. What a joke. What a joke. You know, again, I think it's just tether moving over to uh, USDC. Really. You know, they, I mean, they're, they're all going to be... Uh, look at that, 40 million as well, just straight off the bat, 19 hours ago. What a joke. Another 8 million 19 hours ago because they felt like it. Why not, you know? It's too easy. Too easy. Absolute joke. Absolute joke. Um, but, yeah, you know, the space is going to be cleaned up sooner or later. What was this? USDC, another 71 million minted. You know, Tether's just moved over to USDC. That's literally all they've done. They're all in bed with each other. They have to keep the uh, they have to keep the price of core coin pumping, you know, and that's that's the the only way they know how to do it. Because shit coiners, shit for brains. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure if my connection was uh, was working uh, during this broadcast, so I'll just uh, release the episode as it was. Uh, so I can't see anybody in the chat box. So sorry about that. If you were uh, if you were chatting to me, I did see Z Australia in there. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, remember, oh, yep, yeah, uh, pictures. Hold on one second. Um, we have got uh, the Bitcoin biscuits. Oh, where is it? Let's see if I can find it. Around here somewhere. Um, oh, have I got pictures somewhere? Um, Get paid for posting. The future of advertising meets there the we power go. of Bitcoin. That's what I was after. Tonic power. Didn't need that playing though. <clears throat> Bitcoin biscuits and coffee coming your way soon. Catch you guys later. Get paid for posting your pics on Relica. Download the app now at www.getrelica.com. Get your tweet etched on Twitch forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com. Buy bsv.live. The best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Support independent content creators on micropayment platforms such as Streamanity, Twitch and Relica. We should profit from our data, not the large corporations who track, monitor and sell it. If you enjoy the Bitcoin content that I produce, please support me by heading over to www.satoshi.tv where you can keep up to date with all the latest news, gossip and content as it's created. Thanks very much. To get started in Bitcoin, go to freebsv.com where you can claim your free Bitcoin. Then head over to Twitter and follow at IamZatoshi where you can take part in his very generous and world famous free giveaways. The future of advertising meets the power of Bitcoin at Tonic Pow. Get paid for posting advertising campaigns to your social media profiles. Go to www.tonicpowads.com.